This is my pH experiment. How does temperature affect pH levels of apple juice? The hotter the substance is, the more acidic it'll be. Background knowledge. Molecules increase vibrations, which result in the ionization and formation of positive hydrogen ions. More positive hydrogen ions will lead to a more acidic solution. The hotter the solution will be acidic. If temperature of apple juice is higher, then it will be more acidic because more positive hydrogen ions will be formed. Independent variable, temperature, dependent variable, pH. I will have one glass of room temperature water and another glass at a higher temperature. I put one in the microwave and the hot the temperatures will be hot and regular. <laughs> I don't have a thermometer. Dependent variable will be pH. Measured by the color of the cabbage, it tells us something is more red when it's acidic and more blue when it's alkaline. Controlled variables. Apple juice, amount of cabbage water, amount of apple juice, and temperature of cabbage water. Why should this variable be controlled? To start off with the same stub substance as acidity, so the apple juice um, is not over diluted, so the cabbage juice can work. I can't have more than one substance with different temperatures. Here are my materials that I used. Half a glass of apple juice, positive plus or minus a milliliter, two coffee pods of cabbage water, coffee maker for making the water hot, a microwave to heat up apple juice, a handful of red cabbage water, and a color picker app on your iPhone. Here's my steps. First, I boiled the water in the coffee heater. <laughs> then I added red cabbage to the water. Then I stirred the red cabbage leaves so the cabbage water was the only thing left below half a cup of cabbage. The hot water can be hot, so don't touch it. Just let it cool at room temperature while you prepare the apple juice. You can also use a refrigerator if you have one. Next. Next, I put half a cup of apple juice in the microwave. The glass will be hot, so use a towel to handle it. Then bring room temperature half glass of apple juice to the lab sta station. Next, make coffee, but save the little pod. You can just throw away the coffee if you don't like coffee. Add two coffee pods full of cabbage juice to the apple juice. Watch for a color change. This one is the hot water and it's slightly redder than this one. Get out your color picker app on your iPhone, take a photo of the apple juice with the same background for each, analyze these results. Remember that red means more acidic and blue it means more basic. Hot apple juice was darker orangish red and the, the cooler wasn't as red. Cabbage juice turns red when more acidic. Hot apple juice was acidic. The hot apple juice versus the room temperature apple juice. Hot apple juice was a darker orange, still hot and acidic. The room temperature apple juice was regular orange, average temperature and less acidic. I was sample These are my requirements. Conclusion, I found that the hotter apple juice was more acidic. This proves my hypothesis. Put in the evaluation table with, okay. 
problem. I did not have a thermometer. Why this is significant? I could not tell how much hotter the apple juice was compared to the regular apple juice. Solution, I used touch to determine that the apple juice was much hotter. I wasn't at home so I didn't have the proper materials. I would want to test again with thermometers and more apple juices with cooler temperatures. We're excited.